You might have heard this in the news on 30th June India started the operation of its first domestically built 700 megawatt nuclear reactor. This nuclear reactor is located near the Tapi River in the city of Surat Gujarat and it is known as the Kakrapar Atomic Power Station. As you have heard its capacity is 700 megawatts. If we make an estimate it can supply electricity to approximately 150000 to 2 lakh households based on the capacity of this nuclear reactor. As you may know in India the organization responsible for the operation of nuclear reactors is called the Nuclear Power Corporation of India Limited. It is a government owned corporation responsible for the generation of nuclear power in India. They oversee all the activities related to nuclear power. Currently it is said that this nuclear plant is operating at 90% of its capacity. Officials of NPCIL say that in the future more nuclear reactors with a capacity of 700 megawatts will be established in India. I would also like to inform you that in Rajasthan near Kota there is a place called Rawat Bhata where the construction of a 700 megawatt nuclear power plant is underway. Additionally in the city of Gorakhpur Haryana work is also in progress for a nuclear power plant with a similar capacity. Now let me tell you something more technical about these nuclear reactors. As you may know there are several types of nuclear reactors pressurized water reactor boiling water reactor pressurized heavy water reactor advanced gas cooled reactor fast neutron reactor high temperature gas cooled reactor light water graphite reactor molten salt reactor small modular reactor among these pressurized water reactors and boiling water reactors are the most widely used and established reactors used globally they have a proven track record in terms of safety efficiency and reliable electricity generation but then pressurized hard water reactor is also good Why because hard water is commonly available in many regions around the world. It is estimated that around 85% of the water supplies globally are classified as hard water to some degree. Heavy water is often sourced from underground aquifers or wells. If you see pressurized water reactors and boiling water reactors use ordinary light water meaning regular H2O. So it's better to use hard water D2O instead of regular H2O. That is why India is building more pressurized heavy water reactors all around the country. Pressurized heavy water reactors are really important for nuclear power plants because they have some special features that make them useful and safe. I will give you few reasons why pressurized heavy water reactors are important. Number 1. Pressurized heavy water reactors can use a type of fuel called natural uranium which is easily available. It is like using a common type of fuel that we can find easily without enriching it. As you know western countries like the United States they get paranoid the moment any country thinks of enriching uranium. The second reason is pressurized heavy water reactors are designed to be safe. They have a special feature that makes them automatically cool down if they get too hot. It's like having a built-in system that prevents them from getting overheated. As you know you need a nuclear fission reaction then only a lot of heat will be released. This heat is used to produce steam which then drives turbines to generate electricity. But if the reactor gets too hot, it needs to be cooled down to prevent any damage. So in a pressurized heavy water reactors, there is a substance called heavy water which acts as both a moderator and a coolant. The heavy water helps slow down the fast moving neutrons produced during fission reaction, making them more efficient in causing further fission. This means as the temperature of the reactor increases the reactivity or the tendency of the nuclear reaction to occur decreases. The third reason is pressurized heavy water reactors can adjust the amount of electricity they produce based on the needs of the power grid. This helps in keeping the power supply stable so that we don't have any sudden changes in electricity availability. The fourth reason is pressurized heavy water reactors can do more than just produce electricity. They can also make useful things like medical isotopes which are used for medical purposes like diagnosing and treating diseases. How does it happen? Let me explain. The same nuclear reaction that produces heat for electricity generation can also be used to produce another valuable material called plutonium. Plutonium is a type of element that can be used as fuel in other types of nuclear reactors or for making nuclear weapons. Pressurized heavy water reactors have the ability to create plutonium as a byproduct while generating electricity. This is because pressurized heavy water reactors use natural uranium as fuel which contains a small amount of uranium 235 and mostly uranium 238. When uranium 235 undergoes fission in the reactor, 
It not only produces energy but also generates plutonium-239 as a byproduct. However, it is important to note that the use of plutonium is highly regulated and strictly monitored to prevent its misuse. The International Atomic Energy Agency will run after you if you produce too much of the byproduct. So these are the reasons why pressurized heavy water reactors are really important for nuclear power plants because they have some special features that makes them useful and safe. That is why the government of India has sanctioned the building of 10 indigenously developed pressurized heavy water reactors in fleet mode at four locations. Gorakhpur in Haryana, Chutka in Madhya Pradesh, Mahi Banswara in Rajasthan and Kaiga in Karnataka. As you are aware, under the leadership of Prime Minister Modi, India is currently on a new trajectory, rapidly developing in several important sectors. In the defence sector, significant development is taking place to ensure the strength and preparedness of our armed forces and police against any internal or external threats. There is a rapid construction of highways and roads to improve connectivity, ensuring smooth business operations and uninterrupted supply chains. Indian Railways is being developed and modernised. At present, India operates the world's most powerful railway engine with an output of 12,000 horsepower. It has the capability to haul 6,000 tons and can run at a speed of 120 km per hour. This means with a stronger engine, goods can reach the destination quickly and in larger quantities. Furthermore, the Indian government is also focusing on the field of electricity generation. Nuclear reactors are being built at a fast pace because energy is a fundamental requirement for any task. As everyone knows, nuclear reactors are unmatched in terms of generating power. And as I've mentioned earlier, there are various types of nuclear reactors, among which pressurized heavy water reactors are considered efficient and reliable. That is why the Indian government is constructing more pressurized heavy water reactors in different states. Overall, the development in these sectors reflects India's commitment to progress and achieving self-reliance in key areas of the betterment of the nation. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching it.